so it was actually inevitable that I was going to make this video because a lot of people requested on how they can upload their games onto game Jolt or really how to put their games in a dot zip file or something and with this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that so you know you have your game right here uh i'm going to use this game as like a as an example pretty much and pretty much once you want to upload your game onto game jolt you want to click on this tab and you want to go down and press on save to your computer it's going to take a couple seconds but you should be getting an sb3 file saved onto your downloads so pretty much after you're done downloading your sb3 file you want to go into the description click on the first link and it should take you to this turbo warp link and this pretty much makes it so you can package your scratch games so you have your project select here it should already be on file so just click on choose file click on the sb3 and then click open and it should open up a bunch of options here so here you have your options you have your runtime options which is pretty much how the game is going to be run aka you know your frame rate your interpolation your your quality high quality pen clones all of that and then you have your stage which is pretty much the resolution of the game i like to have mine to stretch or uh, throughout the entire screen and going down even more we have the player options which is you know the title the page icon the loading screen loading text image all of that and then you have your controls which has you know the green flag the stop button the pause button and the full screen button and then everything else you know the colors the cursor and i don't really touch any of these the advanced option or the cloud variables i just i don't really touch them but down here is where it's important the environment the environment is pretty much how your game is going to be packaged so you have a plain html which will when when it's clicked on when you download it you click on it and it'll make an html um you know like a link pretty much to the game but ideally you want to use the windows application 32 bit or 64 bit this pretty much puts it in a .zip file, which then the person downloading it has to extract. So pretty much after you pick your environment, you have your application settings, which is the package name. Then you got the version and then the window size, all of that. And pretty much when you're done, you do want to click on package. And this would pretty much turn it into a .zip. And just wait a couple of seconds, but here you go. I have my .zip file. So after you're done, you know, packaging your game or whatnot, you should go onto Game Jolt, click on your profile, and click on Games. It should take you to your game library, which then you can click on your games. And just for a demonstration, I am gonna click on Add Game. Now it's gonna give you all of this. I'm just gonna put dev log, you know. Um I'm gonna put just gonna put uh some random stuff here. You know, this doesn't really matter. You know, everything here, pick scratch, do all of that. So I just did it off screen, but pretty much after you're done doing all of those settings, you know, the design, everything, all of that, once you click on published or you know, draft, whatever you pick. You should be onto this screen, but do not worry, it's still going to be unlisted, so nobody's going to be able to see it. You have your overview, your details, pretty much everything you have uh, put here. But what you want to focus on is packages right here. And packages is well where you need to put your game. So you scroll all the way down, click on add package. And there you go, you have your package. And after you do that, click on new release. And here, this is where you can add your, your dot zip. So where it says upload downloadable build, you can just click on choose file and boom, there you go. Put the dot zip in there. And this is the, 
like the version, I guess. You can just have it like that. Alright, just give it a couple seconds if it's still loading. But after it's done, you're gonna have this. And really, you can pick whatever you want. This is just like what like PCs are able to run this project. So you can just put Windows 64 bit, you can put Mac, all of that. I'll just I'll just put it like this. And then just publish the release. And there you go. I should have it just like that. So pretty much when you're done, you can just click on published or whatnot. And it should show. It's not going to show for me because, well, number one, I am. This is a devlog only page. So I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, upload the file and secondly nobody can really see this anyways so yeah when you're done just click on this button view game page and your game should show right there and yeah that should be it for um this video if it doesn't show up you can leave well you can leave in the description below what is happening or why it's not working but it, sh it should it should work Here's a demonstration. So I have Finance and Heralds right here. And as you can see, I have both of the packages here. Which, by the way, I forgot to mention, you can add more than one package. So you don't have to only have one. You can add multiple. Just click on New Package uh, on the Packages tab. And you can pretty much add multiple. Which, by the way, if you guys can, please download and play this game. I beg of you. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I just got in some requests, people asking me how I'm able to upload my games onto Game Jolt. And well, you know, it's not a Herald tutorial, so I said, screw it, <laughs> I might as well do it. And it's quick and it's easy. So yeah, that's pretty much how to add your games onto Game Jolt. If you guys have any complaints, let me know. And uh, yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.